Hey guys, welcome back to the most awaited video till now. In today's video, I am going to be telling you 5 exercises to reduce your belly fat. So make sure you stay tuned until the end of the exercise and grab your yoga mats quickly. Hey guys, my name is Jia Bansali and before we dive into the exercises today, do let me know if you have any such similar requests on my email ID at info at the rate reog.com or you can connect with me on my any of my social media handles Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn at Rio. Do let me know how you like these exercises. Did you see any effect by grabbing your yoga mats quickly and let's get to practicing. Just before you grab your yoga mat and start practicing, I want to tell you if you experience pain in any of these exercises, please consult a yoga teacher to know what you are going wrong and which part you need to correct. Don't enjoy yourself, just be safe and hope you get a fat belly soon. So let's begin. We will now begin with the Pawan Muktasan where I want you to take your hands back by breathing in and exhaling take your knee to your chest pressing it against your stomach. Breathing in, release the posture. Breathing out, hold the posture again, pressing your leg against your stomach. Breathing in and next, breathing out, take both your knees to your chest and hold it. Breathing in, release and repeat this exercise five times. We will now begin with the cycling position by lying down. Try to take your feet in the circular moments of 90 degrees and almost touching the mat. Keep breathing and this will create pressure on your stomach muscles. A second variation to this is the reverse cycling where you take your feet in the opposite circular moments in this manner. You can repeat this for 1 or 2 minutes every day. The third asan is the scissors with your leg where you take your feet in 90 degrees, drop it down to 20 degrees, take it up and keep alternating between your legs. You can repeat this for 1 or 2 minutes every day. This will create an extensive stretch on your core muscles. When you are done, please relax. The next pose is the dhanurasan or the bow pose where you hold your ankles with your hands and lift your entire body up and try to balance on your stomach. Try to balance and then release the entire posture. We will be demonstrating once again for a better understanding. Fold your legs, hold it by your ankles, lift your entire body up and try to remain in this posture for some time. When you feel tired, you can relax and repeat this 5 to 6 times a day. The next asana is the crocodile pose or the makra asana. Lifting your hands, twist your body side to side. Keep folding your feet. Exhaling side to side, inhaling when you come to the center. We will be demonstrating it once again. We want you to gently lift your body up with your hands and twist side to side this time with a lot more speed. You can practice this for one minute every day. I hope you guys have enjoyed these exercises. If you have any other such similar requests, please write to me. In the comments below also let me know which one is your favorite exercise. You should definitely be seeing a difference in 21 days if you practice it regularly for half an hour. Do let me know in the comment section and also give me a thumbs up if you've liked these exercises and have found it different. Until next time, 